Hello everyone, uh, thanks for watching. This is just a quick update video on my Seiko 5 SNK P21 J1 automatic uh, watch 41 millimeters. Uh, this video is actually dedicated to Mohammed, uh, someone who commented on one my other Seiko video uh, for this particular model. Uh, so, and this is really not just for him, but just basically anyone who's curious about it. Um, don't have too much else to comment on it. It's like, uh, if you're curious about if how much, if it's like a heavy watch, it's pretty decent. It's lightweight. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. Uh, the bracelet, I have to admit, feels slightly cheap, but I don't know. Maybe you want to swap that and put a black leather band. I'm, for now, I'm just going to keep this one. Um, has day date. I got it on the Arabic numeral, uh, 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 excuse me, day. A lot of people are telling me these are Indian numbers, but I had someone that's telling me these are Persian numbers, so it's like back and forth, so I'm not really sure if you know which ones these are. Please comment it below. Um, on the website, jomashop.com, where I bought it, uh, they say it's Indian. I've had a few people also say, you know, those are Indian using Arabic numerals, so uh, like I said, just let me know. Fill me in a little bit, because it's like back and forth. So that's what it looks like going around. The loom is pretty decent. Um, let me see if, uh, can't really see it here. Uh, can't really see it too well here. Sorry for the crudeness of the video. I don't really have too many places in my house to make little videos like these. And I was actually gonna make this video outside where you can see the watch way better. But there's a lot of noise going on. There's a kid's party nearby, so that's out of the question. Automatic 21 joules, 50 meters. I don't really recommend taking this uh, watch in the water. This is more of like an office wear, uh, everyday kind of watch, dress watch, whatever you want to call it. Um, 41 millimeters. Uh, Action-based movement. It's not like the other Seiko movements, so you got to keep this one and action for the movement to continue going on. Um, not sure how thick the case size is. I wanna say 13-ish. Shoulda looked that up, sorry about that. Case size, it's not real thin either. I don't really like real thin case sizes. So yeah, if you have any questions about it, uh, just let me know or if you want to put some feedback, put it in the comments. I'll try to answer your question. Sort of an impromptu video, but I mainly dedicated this video to uh, one of the viewers from my other Seiko video uh, for this model. The SNK P21J1 Seiko 5 for Mohammed. Hopefully Mohammed's watching so you can see. And of course, is it for everyone else who's asking for an update or wanted to see more of this watch. Uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate if you would do that. I posted a new uh, watch video on an Invicta Grand Diver I purchased. Um, I do plan on buying more Seikos, and I'm thinking about buying the same watch, same model as this one, but with the white dial. Not sure yet. I also plan to get some Prospect Seikos, but that's a work in progress, of course. But uh, yeah, I'll be sure to uh, do unboxing and reviews and all that as soon as I can. It's a pretty good watch. Um, like I said, it's it's almost universal. It's like it's not too big, not too small. I think it's pretty decent. They do have a 37 millimeter uh, version of this. Of course, I think that'd be way too small. I think that's more for women or men with smaller wrists. So if you want to check that out, again, I purchased this at jomashop.com. If you want to check them out, they have great deals on there. I know they're not paying me for this video, nor they are endorsing me. But yeah, check them out. So anyways, uh, like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, please comment below. Thanks for watching.